Hey gang members, it's Andrea. Happy Mother's Day. It's Mother's Day here in Australia. I'm not sure if you celebrated at the same time as us, but um, yeah, happy Mother's Day to you, even if it's not to all you mums out there and all you people who don't have kids out there, happy Mother's Day to your mum. Uh, I'm just on my way home from having lunch with my mum. Um, it's uh, quarter past four in the afternoon on Sunday. I uh, had a lovely time with her, um, managed to not overeat, which was great. So I start my week three tomorrow of my experiment of eating for hunger. Um, this week went really, really well. I had a bit of a hiccup last night. Um, I was alone, girls. I was alone in my home. You know where that leads me. But... Um, I have to say, I didn't really overeat. I, I tried to overeat. I was out for an all-out kind of binge, and it didn't happen because uh, just uh, I couldn't bear the feeling that it gave me in my tummy. So I kind of think my binging days are going to be over because I'm merely uh, not because I've solved all my eating issues, not by a long shot, but um, I do believe that the feeling it gives me now is... Uh, I mean, last night, I nearly wanted to cry. I felt so bad. I hadn't even eaten or binged really badly. It, I just actually ate past my hunger and it it seriously made me feel ill. I, I sat with that feeling and, um, and I made sure that I, you know, realized how, um, how bad my body felt. So I don't want to feel like that anymore. I actually feel better when I eat to satisfaction rather than pass my hunger so woohoo that's a huge breakthrough in two weeks that's happened to me in less than two weeks but now I really know it's um set in because uh I've overeaten about three or four times and every time my body has reacted really badly um I suppose you could equate it to someone who's allergic to wheat and they eat wheat because they like it Get to the point where you know you just can't eat it anymore that's where i'm at i feel like even though i love overeating and i love eating uh, a lot more food than i do eat um i can't physically do it anymore so i think in two weeks uh that's a great step forward for me i'm still intending on doing a round uh in a couple of weeks time i'm trying to work out my timing with my niece's 16th birthday and whole lot of other stuff going on my kids birthdays coming up and um so i really want to work around loading on those days or uh uh avoiding being on p2 in those days but yeah I, i'm i'm actually for the first time in about five months looking forward to doing around um simply because i kind of have my head around the whole eating to hunger thing and it'll be really interesting I don't intend to weigh during this round either, uh, but what I will say is I am going to, for you lovely ladies, I'm going to weigh before I start. I'll do my loading days and weigh and I'll do all that for you um, so you have an idea of where I'm at and it'll be really interesting for me to know, um, sorry guys, one moment where I'm at after all these months of not weighing too. So I've decided that I will weigh um, at the start. I will weigh after loading. I will weigh at the end. Um, and I'm planning on doing my very first three week round. I've never done a three week round before. I really feel like I could cope with that. Um, and if I feel like going longer, then I might. But anyway, that's where I'm at at the end of week two. I start week three tomorrow um, and hopefully I will get through week four of my experiment before I go back on a round. But I'm going to wait for Tom to come. So once he comes, I might be thinking that I'll probably be in my week four experiment when that happens. But I really want to um, take my HCG after Tom is, has gone because we all know that's the optimal time ladies anyway it's getting on five minutes sorry to keep you i hope you all have a fantastic weekend over there here there and everywhere all over the world aren't we uh anyway i love you guys take care gang members bye